Well, good morning. Welcome to Gardener's World with me, Gordon Monty Don Roberts. Today we're going to be talking about seeds, germination and new life. Uh, it's a busy time here in the greenhouse and you can see all the seeds we've got germinating. At the far end there we've got uh, beetroot. Very, very easy to germinate and come into life. Next to that we've got some chamomile. Chamomile, as well as needing uh, moisture and soil and heat to germinate, it also needs light. So for those seeds you just need to scatter them lightly on the surface. In the middle here we've got some lettuce and some onions. Popped into life already, a good bit quicker than some of the other seeds. This is an interesting one. Edible flowers, violas. Not my idea, I can assure you. But these actually need a period of cold before they'll germinate. If you plant them this time of year, they recommend you put them in the fridge for three or four weeks and then take them out. So they need hardship before they will germinate and spring into life. In the Bible, Jesus talks about seeds, doesn't he? And just like these seeds, we all need uh, different conditions to pop into new life. And for quite a few people at the moment, you may be feeling as though you're sort of um, buried and isolated in the compost. Or like these seeds, you might feel as though you're stuck in the fridge. And for those of us as in the church family, how can we... Uh, help people's faith? How can we nurture these seeds? I have to come out here every day and check these seeds and water them and nurture them. How can we do that as a church? That's addressed to the Kingsbridge Family Church family. I was thinking, you know, it's going to be great when we uh, can all come out of isolation and come back and join together in the church. What a celebration that'll be in our church building. But how much more so if there were new people there, people who during this time of isolation sprang into new spiritual life. So as a church we need to be thinking how can we uh, nurture people in that, how can we talk about faith and direct people to spiritual new life. So until next time it's goodbye from the Greenhouse here at Gardener's World.